in this tutorial i am going to show you eight options business infographic slide in powerpoint as you can see here i have put a bigger circle in the center where you can add your headline and then i have added four circles along with the icons on the right side and again four circles on the left side which i have given different colors and when i click all the eight options it will reveal you can see here you can just type your text and i've added a teardrop or a location uh, object or a shape here so this is a very good slide for your day-to-day -day presentations so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and add a image to the background i'm just going to use uh, this particular image in the background uh, to make this as a background image, you have to just go to view, go to slide master and copy it here. So you can see here, I've just copied the image here and then close the master view. So when I close the master view, generally I get uh, this particular uh, background or if you don't have any good image, you can use any gradient fill also. So uh, then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes select an oval shape draw an oval shape by holding the shift key and shape outline make it white and if you want you can increase the weight also and then align center align middle i'm going to fill this circle with gradient fill right mouse click go to format shape and select a gradient fill and I'm going to delete two stops, keep two stops only, one stop. I'm just going to give some dark color, maybe a blue. And here I'm just going to give, uh, let it be a white color only. And then the transparency of the white, I'm just going to increase it. And this one, I'm, I'll just uh, further increase and reduce the size. And whichever direction you want, you can just place the direction. That is not a problem and let me just increase the size a little bit more by holding the shift key and then again i have to align center and align middle then i'm going to add uh, eight smaller uh, oval shapes around this big circle for that go to insert shapes select an oval shape again hold the shift key i'm just going to draw maybe this much size and you can give some different color and shape outline make it no outline and i'm just going to press ctrl d again to duplicate this and i'm going to give as a white fill and then go to effects go to 3d format top bevel i'm just going to select this particular option which is soft rounded you can see here again hold the shift key and reduce the size and exactly put in the center or you can just select both of these shapes again align center align middle i'm just going to select this highlight this and control g to group it now i'm going to press control d i'm just going to make it four on the left and four on the right okay control d then we can arrange it later on not a problem so i can just put it and then control D for this and you can see here the lines it shows that okay whether it is properly in the center or not you can see these lines so both are aligned and control D for the last and spend some time uh, to properly arrange this one so you can see here I've added this one and then you need to go and change the color one by one manually. Whichever color you like to choose it, you can just fill it here. All right. So I'm just going to go and give some different colors. I can go to more fill colors and I will select whatever the color I need. So likewise, you need to change the color as per your uh, requirement. So you can see here I've just given some random colors to it and then go to insert shapes and select a rectangle. I'm going to draw a rectangle till here 
and again shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give a gradient fill gradient fill on the right side i'm going to give a white color and let me just change the direction white should be more and here also white but i'm just going to make more transparency here can you see here here i will make no transparency and this side it will be more less transparency you can see here and here again if you want you can add some more icon or shape so for that shape i'm just going to shapes and i'm going to select this one which is a tree drop just draw the tree drop by holding the shift key and just using alt and the right arrow key you can just rotate it you can see here and you can just drag this small point downwards you can see here something like that and put it here so that it covers the whole uh, uh, this rectangle you can just reduce the size a little bit and you can increase the size if you want all right again shape outline make it no outline and i have to give the same color which i've used here so i can just go to eyedropper and select this color and i'm just going to select this smaller uh, white oval shape control c click outside and control v reduce the size and i'm going to put it here and then both i'm going to highlight control g to group it so you can see here this particular shape is ready i'm just going to send this to back all right then I'm just going to select this control D I'll put it here and I have to make sure that the size remains same you have to just put the same sizes it should not exceed it should not go you can see here and control D the last one and I'm going to put the same size here later on because this is more gap here I can just go and I can just select this also I can move it up that we can arrange it also at the later stage all right then i will just control d and i am going to copy it here and later on again i'm just going to change the color as per our oval shapes color all right then i'm just going to copy this select control d to duplicate it and rotate it i will just say flip horizontal and i'm just going to place it here okay and this also control d and copy it here as usual again i'm just going to send this to back you have to make sure that all are back and control d i'm just going to copy it here and again the same size control d bring it here and control D last and bring it here and then again control D to duplicate and then you can change the color as I said select this T drop shape fill I dropper select so you can do all the changes to this uh, teardrop object then you can add some icons to it for that you can go to insert icons and select the icons of your choice or if you don't have the icons you can go to www.thenonproject.com i'm just going to select eight icons insert and i'm going to make as 0.4 the height and width and then i'm just going to put it one by one here and these icons also the color you can change it as per the color of the oval shape all right now it's time to add the text go to insert text box add your 
text here i'm just going to make it 12 or you can increase to 14 if you want and again control d paste it on all the options again control d this time i'm just going to make it a uh, right aligned and control d so you can see here uh, all our text everything is ready if you want you can just go and insert the title here let me just make it a white color increase the size center align and put it here so our design is ready so it's a uh, last step is to do the animation before adding the animation we need to just group these objects i'm just going to select this and hold the shift key select the text and this teardrop Control g to group it likewise we need to do all one by one select these three option and group it you need to hold the shift key to select multiple objects and control g i'm just going to select this hold the shift key and then this so likewise we just group it all so let me just do it fast here i have not changed the color you can change the color later on And you have to just make sure that the text is behind the oval shape. I'm just going to select all this, go to format and then just send to back. Then to add the animation, enable the animation, go to animations actually and go enable the animation pane. And I'm going to select all this four, five, six, seven, eight and add animation, go to more entrance effects. And I'm just going to give a stretch effect you can see here and this four i'm just going to select this should start i will say from left and this four on the left side should start from right so let me just show you how it looks when i click you can see the animation so that's it from me That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe to PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.